Alrighty guys, thanks for clicking on this week's video. Today we're going to go over Warren Buffett's stock portfolio and decide whether or not that I would buy these stocks. Just a little heads up, I'm not going to do a deep dive into every single stock. I will be doing that on my own personal time, but I'm just going to give you the main reasons why I really wouldn't buy or sell these stocks as there's a multitude of reasons why I would or wouldn't. I'll just give you the biggest kickers for me at least on why they impacted my decision. And on top of that, remember, this is just my own personal opinion. Therefore, this video is made for entertainment purposes only only. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first stock we're going to go over is Amazon. And in all honesty, I do agree with owning this company. They have so many plans to keep on expanding and they have just been a tank ever since they've hit the market. They've been going up and up and up and up and up. Now Warren Buffett only owns 0.1% of his entire portfolio is in this stock and I completely agree with that. So expensive to own this stock as if one shares over $3,000 and to the average retail trader that's a lot to own in just one stock and only having one share in it. So yes I would purchase this stock but I wouldn't own too much of my portfolio being dedicated to it. The next stock he goes over is American Express and I would say no I would not buy this stock most is because out of all the credit cards that I've personally owned and had American Express was by far the hardest to deal with and on top of that what I thought their point system was like was actually pretty much a straight garbage no offense to them but yeah, it was pretty awful. And on top of that, most places don't even accept American Express. And as an investor, you know that sometimes it does break down into more than just the financials of the market and the company. It's also about knowing the company's operations and how they treat their customers and everything like that, et cetera, et cetera. So for me, it's a no-go. Third stock I want to talk about is Apple. I would say yes. They have a solid balance sheet and income statement. They're always making more money. They're pretty good. They're a leader in their tech industry. However, I would wait a little bit just because yes, even though they had that nice stock split, so you you know, it made it more accessible to people so it ran up and then recently it ran down and the whole tech sector as a sector has been running down so if you're watching this when I've made this video I would wait on it a little bit but overall long term if you really want to hold this flight like, forever and ever then yeah I would buy the stock the fourth stock I want to talk about is and excuse me if I mispronounce this is Axelita coding system they have a lot of good news and they have a lot of good management and they actually have new management which is really really nice i like to see that and all the analysts are saying that it's great it's a great stock to buy they're saying it's going to go up and up and up now you can't always trust that but in this case after doing my own research i do agree with the analysts for once the next stock i want to talk about is bank of america as a whole i believe the whole financial and banking sector is pretty undervalued right now so i think it's a pretty solid option to have some banks in your portfolio and the great thing about bank of america is their whole management team is buying more and more of the stocks and actually Warren Buffett has been buying more and more of the stocks too which creates a nice buying pressure for the stock to go up even though today the banking sectors did take a little bit of a hit the next stock I want to talk about on his list is Bank of New York Mellon basically the same reasons I would own this is the same reasons I gave for Bank of America except Warren Buffett has been buying more into this stock so keep that in mind continuing on the next stock is Barrick Gold Corporation personally when I have gold I like to own ETFs more often than not that's just my personal preference but in this case I do think it's a solid buy for what he picked for gold this company has great management and seems to be undervalued and especially with the election company coming up I would definitely like to hold more gold in my portfolio more than anything right now the next stock I want to talk about is Biogen pretty much everything about this stock is really really solid even more so than most pharmacy stocks so yes it would be nice to own however and this is again since it's my personal opinion made for entertainment purposes only but I've never been a fan of owning pharmacy stocks they're just way too volatile for me and especially with this whole pandemic going on you've seen pharmacy stocks shoot up 130 percent and then drop maybe like 60 percent the next day or long term they're growing and then long term they're having sharp declines it's just too much of a headache for me so personally i wouldn't really want to get into that whole sector at all but you can make some pretty good money in it so do with that what you will the next stock i want to talk about is charter communications now this one was really surprising everyone was saying good things about them they look great everything looks awesome however the, my biggest concern besides other things was the fact that their management team and company is selling their shares like crazy and if they don't really want to own it personally that's one of those big things that i look for so i don't really want to own it either and the last and final stock i want to talk about is his famous stock that he's owned forever is coca-cola and again it's a no for me because the insiders the company management selling off their shares and as a man that's worked for many companies i found that 
everybody hates dealing with coca-cola it takes forever to get their products in they have so many rules that they have to deal with when buying their products for example like how they're shelved where you're keeping their shelves in you can't mix products stuff like that from what i've seen it's, it's a nightmare dealing with them whereas pepsi on the other hand is a lot more lenient and yes maybe you know you might say oh coca-cola like they have those rules for a reason but i see a lot of like small town business owners hate dealing with them and most people really don't like dealing with them at all so again that's just my personal opinion i don't really like how they treat their customers so i personally wouldn't want to own this this stock either so just to recap of the 10 stocks we went over today six of them were a buy and those were amazon apple axola coding system bank of america bank of new york mellon and barrick gold corporation companies that out either sell if i still owned them or i just simply just wouldn't buy them as american express charter communication and the one stock that's a very unique situation that I'm just undecided on is Biogen. Go either way, really depends on your preference. Hope you guys liked the video. I didn't want to make it too long, hence why I didn't go like super into crazy detail. I love making these videos short, fast, sweet, and simple just to get to the point and not waste your guys' time. As always, thanks for watching the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more future content.